Hi, this is Lloyd Allen. Somebody said to me this morning, wow, this COVID-19 pandemic, when people are quarantined at home, it should be a wonderful time for families. Families to spend more time with each other. Families um, to support their children, to validate them, to, to play with them. Wife and husband to interact more. What a wonderful time it should be. Alas, this is not the case in many homes. Did you know that during this lockdown, the domestic violence has increased dramatically. There has been a sad spike in the domestic violence in many homes. Why is that so? You're spending more time with each other. This is a time when you should be brimming with joy and delight with based on your interaction. But the point is, there's a reason for that. When you got married, you took a vow for better, for worse. In sickness and in health, in poverty and prosperity, I'll be with you. I'll cherish you. I'll nurture you. Why is this not the case? Many people never expected that crisis would come. This is a time when many people have lost their job. They're suffering severe economic hardship. They can hardly make ends meet. The mortgage cannot be paid. And so there's frustration in the home. Emotions flare. And people find that they are unable, incapable of controlling the words that drip from their lips. Friends, the point is there's a need to improve our communication skills with each other in our homes. When hardships arise, there is conflict many times, but the problem is not that you have conflicts, but it is about how you resolve those conflicts. That's the real issue. And so I just want to share with you today a few tips on how to improve the relationship with your spouse, especially in your home. The first thing I want to say is this. Never raise your voice at your spouse. Instead, improve your argument. Hone your skill set. And say, you know, honey... Things are hard. The crisis is upon us. The bills cannot be paid. But can we find a way to deal with this? Read some good books if you have to. Do a bit of research together on how you can improve your situation. You see, things happen in life that you have no control over. What are you going to do? Allow your marriage to fall in a state of disrepair? Are you going to allow your marriage to break up because of hardship, economic hardship that you didn't plan for and you have no control over? Not at all. So this is it. Don't attack each other. Instead, attack the problem. I want to say it another way. Attack the problem, not your spouse. Deal with the problem at hand and never attack your spouse. That's number one. Number two. Remember that marriage is enhanced. Marriage flourishes. Marriage, marriage is nurtured by positive affirmative words. Words that validate each other, not words that hurt each other. So if you're serious about nurturing your marriage, if you're serious about making your marriage last a lifetime, you must remember that there are certain things that destroy a marriage and certain things that build up a marriage. Did you know that the words you use in your marriage can either bring death to your marriage or bring life, even in the midst of crisis. 
So the point is, remember, when you are tempted to utter words, impatient words, ill-advised words, remember this. There are some words that destroy and there are some words that build up. Which do you want? What do you want to do? To enhance your marriage or to weaken it? To build up or to destroy? So ask yourself these questions. What do I want to realize in my marriage? Do I want a better marriage or a worse marriage? And if you remember this, choose well and choose your words well. Ladies, remember something today. Ladies, statistically, ladies are more inclined to be critical than men. So ladies, don't speak with your emotion necessarily. No. Don't resolve conflicts just with your emotion. Resolve conflict with your intellect. So think about the words before you drop them. Understand the weight limit of your husband or the marriage. There are some bridges, you know, um, if you... If your, if your vehicle is above a certain capacity in terms of the weight, you can cause the bridge to collapse. So you must understand the weight limit of the bridge, especially if you're driving a huge truck with cargo. Understand the weight limit of your words. There are words that destroy and there are words that build up. So watch this now. Never hurl. A negative words at your spouse to discredit, to destroy, to disparage, to demean, or to berate them. For when you do that, you are only sending a missile at your marriage to destroy it. Marriage is not nurtured and made better by negative words. Marriage is made better by positive words. So even in the midst of a crisis, Watch your words and have the health and prosperity and growth of your marriage always in your mind, always at heart, and be careful with your words. Also, husbands, the tendency is to be quick and to be short-tempered. To be quick with your words and to be short tempered and to be easily angered. You too must exercise control in the words you use. And even if you feel tempted because your wife may annoy you, remember also that you can either bring death or life into your marriage. So watch your words. So at a time when people are quarantined at home, quarantine doesn't have to be dangerous. Being quarantined at home does not mean that the domestic violence rate has to rise. You see, you reveal who you are in a crisis. Crisis reveals character. What metal are you made of? Reveal who you are during this crisis and demonstrate to your spouse that even in the midst of a crisis, you can still have a sweet personality. So when the, when, when the light is disconnected, electricity is no more and you have to sleep in darkness, just light the candles and say to your spouse, well, you know, this is a groovy environment. Let's just eat by candlelight tonight. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. In other words, life hands you a lemon. Make some lemonade. And even in the midst of this crisis, you can still have a beautiful relationship. This is Lloyd Allen. Make your marriage a beautiful place by choosing words that strengthen and build up, not words that destroy. My wish for you today is that in the midst of COVID-19 lockdown, 
your home will still be a beautiful place. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, click the button below, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you'd like to a copy of the script for this video, you may download it free of charge below. Love you, and I hope to see you next time.